Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these two waters. First up is Aqua 8.4. This has 84 minerals in it. And this is a water I got in Philadelphia. And this has a high pH level. It's supposed to be alkaline water. And it has this uh, dark tinted bottle. Next up is Table Rock Spring Mountain Water. This is from the Fresh Market and this is a dollar and 29 cents. So this is round three of the water comparison series. So we're just going to do a taste test of these two and I'm going to decide which one tastes the best and is moving on to round four. I already gave you more information about these bottles in round one and two. So if you want more information about these, go back to those other previous reviews. Um, Table Rock Spring has a like half-sized lid. This is a really good one. Pretty much all the waters that make it to round three are going to be good. Like, let me just taste this one. Before I do that, let me point out that this one has like a weird label. I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but like, it's clearly a sticker that they just stuck on the bottle. And like, there's folds in the label that are clearly not intentional. Here's another one, and it's got the same problem, but like in different parts of the bottle. I don't know if it's put on there with a machine or if it's like a human slapping on the uh, the label, but pretty much all of the ones I've seen of this water have um, like folds in it, like it's not flat. This one has a full-size lid. Dark colored lid. That's a good one. This is a good water. Um, I'm not doing a pH test in this video because I did a pH test in my earlier reviews. And this one had a, this, like, this one claims to have a 9 pH level. And my test actually confirmed that this does have a 9 pH level, which is really high and really, you know, it's good for water. I mean, apparently it's good. I can't really taste a water's high pH level, but I mean, lots of people claim that it has, uh, you know, health benefits. It's kind of weird how the the label is like sideways. I mean, I guess you only see it properly when I drink it. And now you can actually read what it says. Like when it's on the shelf, it's always this way. So you're not really seeing it. Isn't that kind of weird? Let's go back to Table Rock Spring Water. Um, this is a really good, really good tasting water. This is a spring water. The thing that's unique about this water is it says it's the only water in America whose source is protected by the Congressional Wilderness Act of 1964. So I think that means, like, there's no pollution anywhere near the spring. Like, it's protected to be environmentally clean, and I guess that's a good thing. I don't know. Yeah, there's no, no bad aftertaste. I always forget that you guys are watching and cannot taste it along with me, so I need to describe the water. No plasticky taste, no like bad aftertaste. It's got a thick bottle. It's this kind of looks like a cheap bottle, you know, in the video it might look that way, but it's actually like it's it's a good quality plastic. This one has the dark bottle. I think it's supposed to like block out UV light and um, I guess protect it, or maybe it's just to make it look, you know, more blue, look cleaner.
They're both good. They both give, get a thumbs up for me. This one does have um, five milligrams of sodium, which is I kind of consider bad. I mean, I, it's, I don't really taste it, to be honest. Um, and five milligrams is really not that much, but but zero is less than five. And so this kind of gets a thumbs down for the sodium. This is made in New York. Um, I mean, they, they have good water. Yeah, so, again, these are both good. You know, if you get a chance, check out both of these. But the winner is the Table Rock Spring Mountain Water. Which is kind of interesting. This is moving on to round four. This is from the Fresh Market. There's also another bottle from the Fresh Market, which is um, also moving on to round four. So I have to go back there and buy some more of these. And um, so when they call it fresh, this I guess this really is some fresh market or fresh water from that store. We've got this other Aqua 8.4 bottle. I guess I'll just drink it now. You know, we get part of this video. Um, my first review, I kept calling this Aqua 8.8, which I think sounds better than Aqua 8.4. Yeah, it's a good one. I mean, I... yeah, this one like you kind of get a different taste when you sip on a water and when you chug it. Like, that might sound weird, but you kind of do. Like this one, I drank you know almost this whole bottle right right at once, and I felt good afterwards. Um. I kind of get a weird feeling after drinking, you know, a lot of this Aqua 8.4 at once. It was the same way with the Starkey Springs raw water. I would drink a liter and a half of that at once, and, it, like, I would just feel good. Um, it's not even a taste thing, but I would just, like, feel good. And um, I kind of get that with this bottle. Like, I just kind of feel good after drinking it. It's just kind of a weird thing to say. And I, I like that this bottle... Like, they're not, like, about the brand. They're clearly just about the water. Like, they don't have any fancy fonts or, you know. I've never seen a commercial for this this water. I've never even heard of this until I saw it in the store. And it's, you know, it's clear that they focus on the taste of this water. So congratulations, Table Rock Spring Water, you're moving on to the next round.